Productions. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is going to be a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday morning. Um, and I am in the car on my way to work. And on this drive, I wanted to talk to you. And sorry about the sun. I can't help that. But today, I want to, and I also have my mask on. Um, because I will be picking someone up, you know, and I just want to have it on because I'm not trying to get the COVID ever again in life. Never. Worst experience. So I do wear my mask all the time while I'm out. Okay? Even when I'm recording videos because somebody's getting in the car with me and I'm going to spray it down right after they get out. I promise you. Take it seriously, y'all. If you never had it, you don't want it. Anyway. This is not that kind of video. What I'm talking is hot in here. What I'm talking today is um, I want to talk to you about being the perfect wife and being cheated on. And then also on the other side of the spectrum, being the mistress. And mistress meaning messing around with a married man. Let's talk about it. I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I've been in both shoes. So, that's what I want to talk about this morning. All right? It is more on the growth piece, being uh, growing in who you know and or what you know and your that who you are and your value that you you know value valuing your body, your worth, having self worth, self love self-respect on both sides let's get into it all right so i was married let's talk about being cheated on my previous marriage before i've been married two times this is my second marriage that i'm in now but we're i'm focusing on my first marriage so the first marriage lasted i was with him for when i tell like from beginning to end about 12 years of my life um he was a whoremonger <clears throat> period point blank he couldn't keep his dick in his pants for shit and i being in love and oh i wanted to save my marriage all right, they finna get in. I'm going to put my mask on, y'all. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Um, With him, with this marriage, let my nose out a little bit. Y'all going to have to let me in, honey. With this marriage, he was uh, mm, a whoremonger. He was just like his father he did not value marriage now he was the man that took care of everything he paid the bills <laughs> he did do that he made sure we had a roof over our head food in the house he was the country man he he raked yards cut the grass i ain't have to worry about that type of thing but what i had to worry about was him putting his dick in everybody <laughs> So, this was, I was very young when I got married. Not too young. I think I, I hell, I don't remember. 20, the hell, I don't remember. Y'all, I really don't. So, and it's too early in the morning for me to go all the way back. So, I'm just going to give you the gist of it, okay? The gist of it. So, he, um, I used to have to battle a woman all the time so let me give you an example let me pull this down because they ain't ready example he had a job went to work uh one day i had cooked i was the type of wife that i fixed food make sure he was all right 
one day he took he said i ain't gonna take nothing to work i remember that i said okay baby you know he got off work and came home he didn't have his coat he didn't have and then i knew his voicemail password so somebody kept calling him so they left a message so i happened to listen to his voicemail and it was a girl named denise oh yeah i remember the name and she said um hey I, I got your coat you know you let me wear it today thank you for letting me wear it because I was cold and I hope you enjoy my chicken my fried chicken so I'm thinking to myself what the fuck like oh you chivalry isn't dead now you you cool you 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 heating her up with your coat that I bought you for your birthday that's the bad part about it so I confronted him I said who is this and why is she calling your phone saying thank you for um, lunch I mean I'm sorry thank you for you letting her use your coat and also the fact of she cooked for you like what is that about so of course I knew he was a whore I, he lied like they always do I said okay and one thing about me I never get mad at the woman why because I'm not I have no relationship with her my relationship is with you so my problem is going to be with you because you owe me that you allowed her to do that because all you had to say was hey i'm married i ain't got time for that P period so the next situation was again all the time it was always a woman it was always something the girl that the what the, str the straw that broke the camel's back was i forgave that one i forgave another one i forgave another one i forgave another one like i'm at five six at now the last time the last one was a little young girl about 10 years our junior that i knew personally he knew personally my sister knew personally she used to come to my house and then you started screwing her this girl started to harass me non-stop calling my phone hanging up like shit like that like really though so i confront him you know the lies um you know how that go and then she telling me I, this is it he had his ring of course you know you married you're gonna wear a ring and all of a sudden it was gone so when she called me to give me hell or whatever she was trying to do she told me she said and you know that his his wedding ring i made him take it off every time he with me and he had left it in the car and a crackhead had stolen a ring that had five diamonds in it yeah yeah oh yeah so i'm like you know what then she had okay so i had got a bonus I, I can't remember what how much it was but i remember going to because this was years and years ago y'all i remember going to um one of these buy here pay here car places now my ex-husband needed a car to get back and forth to work so i took a thousand dollars of my motherfucking money paid down for a car for him and it was like a little cheap car but it was just a thousand dollars i'm just saying and not even a week later, not even the first car payment of $125, that's how much it was. I think the car was like $4,000. That's why the um, payments were so cheap. Not even a week later, he was in his hometown screwing around on me with her. And she found out that I had bought the car for him and bust out all the windows in the car. Yeah, that happened to me. So at that point, he called me, babe, I got in a car accident. And it just, you know, I'm thinking, well, I'm glad we got insurance. He was lying the whole time. When he got home, nothing was wrong with the body of the car. It was the windows. Two of the car windows was bust out of the car. And I'm like, this don't make no sense. I was, I was like, how did you get in a car accident? But the windows are only busted out. So he never still told the truth, y'all never still hadn't told the truth you got to get out of my way honey so how i found out the truth y'all you know it just right 
she called me harassing me she called me harassing me and then she told me what she did okay thank you she told me what she did so you didn't even call the police on this girl for her to pay for my shit and you know what i could have took her to court i could have did all that but i said you know what i've had enough i i give it up i gave up the money i let that money go and i gave him up as well so so next thing we're gonna go to being the mistress i divorced him moved on with my life and and whatever is whatever i had I had enough so it's no matter how good you are to to anybody i was that good and he just took me through the ringer i was a good wife i was a good wife all right so next up before i met my husband now i decided in myself hey i want to try this out now this guy told me the truth he told me that he was married now we're gonna call him mr postman we're gonna fast forward years and years later this was before i married my husband now right before not too much before so this person postman was a great guy we talked we chilled we we conversated real good but the caveat was he was a married man now that that to me was like well i was cheated on that's my rationalization in my mind hell i was cheated on so why can't i do it you know what i'm saying nobody cared for me when they when i was getting cheated on if you're gonna come over please come over sir or ma'am lord sorry y'all roll rage at its best okay if, if i'm driving like 70 and you okay let's get back to the story because i might get off topic <laughs> so met met him postman great guy he told me the truth he said i was married i'm married he never lied he had been married maybe um over 20 25 years so i'm saying to myself let's see can i do this it's not for me i i require too much attention and so uh uh uh, uh so being the mistress comes with a lot of pros and cons the cons was no time he ain't never got no time he don't never call he comes and leaves within 10 15 minutes because he got to get home to his wife and shit like that i am good listen so this is my first time and i'm in my 40s this is the first time i ever went through something like that and the last time because I require too much attention and I don't want half of nothing I don't even like to share a fucking sandwich so half for me is a no-go not even half look I ain't even get 10% I noticed he got off at 5 o'clock no phone calls none of that he called me all during the day when he at work but see mind you I work too so really that time was like texting <clears throat> he was a little bit too um no i could tell that he loved he, he loved his wife i guess they didn't have a good sex life so i figured to myself oh you think you finna use me for sex oh no and then take your whole post office check and go take care of your your household and i got nothing in return but a sandwich or a meal nah bo no no and no i value myself too much to let anybody do that to me so i said no i gave that shit up i can't do that that shit ain't for me being a mistress i think if it if you getting the money if that's what you choose to do that's what you choose to do but i can't be a mistress and then she she sitting at home she ain't giving up her body and i'm giving up all of my body and myself but all her bills getting paid if this shit requires work <laughs> or it's just not for me 
if it's for you, I value myself more than that. So I cut that shit off. I moved on with my life. I blocked him. And he works at the post office where I frequent because that's where I live all the time. I don't even give him no eye contact. Cause at the end of the day, I can't, I can't do it. I got too much going on in my life. I got too much going on. And I can't be your side piece or your option. No ma'am. Pam. I ain't doing it. So that requires if you and not that a lot of women can do that but for me I, I just need more and I have to have 100% at all times because I'm giving you back 100% in a relationship I mean a married man can't give you that he can't he can't especially if he got to go especially if he you cheating on he's cheating with you on his wife now if he's married and they done separated that's different but what I'm saying is, I, I can't. I'm not able. I am not able. Mm -mm. So, I've been on both sides. And the side, and it's all about self-worth and self-value. The side with my ex-husband is allowing him to cheat on me several times and still taking him back. Allowing him to do that. Where... When the married man, postman, allowing him to come over, spend 15 minutes with me, no more than an hour, on his lunch, and then going when he gets off, he goes home to his wife for the rest of his rest of his night, you know? No. Nah, no, no, no. Self-worth self-value self-love that's all that is i love myself and value my body more than that They'll, to let somebody totally totally disrespect my body i can't do it i ain't gonna do it i'm not gonna do it and i won't do it so when i got rid of those two situations like completely i blocked my ex-husband we used to be friends still talking after we broke up he would tell me about women and whatever and then postman i had to block him too i blocked both of them out of my life i had you know it's time for a new a new new venture and a new me and i got rid of both of those energies and once i did i met my husband now great kid he's great to me don't cheat on me and we we just got this understanding that how we met each other we won't stay we don't change. There's no changing. Um, and it's all due to he wanted to find love and he couldn't because he's a very, very lovable man. He's very um, hands on. And he, that's just how he is. And for me, that's what I require in my life. That's what I require. Attention. Let, like, period. Um, and we have a great relationship but at the end of the day i love me first and i love me enough to know that i'm not gonna allow anybody to come in my life and um create havoc or heartache in my life anymore Shit. i'm not gonna hurt myself so that's just what it is so that's the difference between mistress being the mistress and being the cheated on wife I've been on both sides and I totally get both but both options require you to love yourself and know not what you're going to take and what you will allow in your life makes sense so that's just it that's my story that's my story I've been there when I became solid in a craft in the craft in the walk i started writing out my petitions i started to work on my shadow self and that shadow self is it comes from my my dad used to cheat all the time on my mom but i love my dad i used to all you know 
it, it came in me and I said, no, no, I'm finna break this generational curse. I'm not gonna allow anybody to treat me any kind of way just because I love them more than I love myself. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You can forget that. I love me more. And I require more and I'm gonna ask for more because that's just what it's gonna be, period. So, I hope this was um, great for y'all. I hope you, you uh, me saying or giving you my experience and my lesson and, and it teaches y'all to, to at least request more in your life from anybody that you allow in your life. If they don't match up to what you need, get rid of it. What you waiting on? Because it's one thing you don't get back and that's time. You never get time back. Ever. So, you've never seen a clock rewind itself. That's what I'm talking about. Stop wasting time on these bullshit ass people and, and get your, and put it all in you. Shit. 100%. I'm just saying. So guys, I'm gonna, um, go i want to say thank you for everybody that has subscribed to me and watch me and the comments that i receive because this here is something new to me but this is my passion and i know it's the right thing because i want to talk to the masses and i want to just thank you all for allowing me to speak to you on this social platform and be to be myself and to just teach you ways to grow please support su support like and subscribe to my channel and as always thank y'all for watching if you want to come in um i do have a facebook page i am the tutress of vision by visions by the story i do teach in there i also upload a lot of spell work it's a lot of different things that i don't put um, out here but if you want to come and visit me or come join my group it's visions by Vasori as well as buy anything from my botanical I have an online botanica come visit that it will be linked in the bio and as always thank y'all for watching remember don't allow anybody to do what you feel like you you won't require in your life seriously make a change. I love y'all. Blessings. Bye.